with the vaporize, I think. Okay, that's sick. <laughs> okay, that is 100% sick. Yulon is now in Genshin Impact, and we get to try her out in her actual trial run. And I'm pretty excited for this, but I don't know what to exactly expect. Back. Now we have Yelan here. We're gonna see her idle animation here in a second. But what I do know is that she has a breakpoint attack if you don't attack someone, and you have the Wraith mode thing and the burst ultimate, which you can you know summon swords and hit your opponent. And that that's the idle animation. I think she only does four attacks. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Her build is level 80 with a lot of HP, obviously, because that's where she gets her damage from. 71, 172 with 206 energy recharge. So actually pretty decent build. I'm assuming four piece emblem, but I'm not sure. Uh, we could actually check with the stats here. No hydro damage bonus? What? What are they doing? Maybe HP percentage goblet? We're gonna, we're gonna find out in a second. We got the new weapon as well here. The artifact set, it is the four, ple four please. It is the four piece of the uh, emblem with five piece, I guess. And here are the stats. I don't think I can click on them. Yeah, I can't. So, not even running a Hydro Damage Cup. And I'm assuming it's Energy Recharge Sands and maybe HP Percentage Goblet. Which is interesting. Definitely an interesting build. Talents 888. I think we, we read this one. Elon's Mask's HP is increased by each elemental type in the party. And alright, we have all typing. So we get 30% increase. And we've got 3.5 damage increase for a maximum of 50% upon hitting opponents. Okay, cool. I think that's all we need to know, right? There is a tap and a hold. And I think I think that's it. I think that is all. Alright, let's try it out. Let's go. I am expecting some good stuff here. Alright. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wait. 70k, didn't it? What? Okay, that's ultimate. Okay, it does like a little burst damage in the beginning too. Okay. This is very similar to Xing Cho. But I think Xing Cho might actually do just as much damage as she is. Wait, that was a 15k with um with the vaporize, I think. Okay, that's sick. <laughs> okay, that is 100% sick. Okay. And then you can do that. Alright, that's neat. I like that. I like that. Wraith mode is so sick. How long does this last? Actually, a pretty decent amount of time. Get burst again. Very... Okay, it's pretty satisfying her gameplay. Okay, wait. Okay, I should have waited. I think I don't think it's ever worth it not holding E, right? Okay, wait, let's try this again. Let's try this again one more time. There's some options while in her rate mode. That does 9,000. That's not too bad. Okay, yeah, there's an E, there's a right click, and the space. Oh, they all do the same thing, though. Okay, they all do, <laughs> they all do the same thing. Alright. I think... I think it's just another... Sh Big Cho, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of sick. He has like three energy particles from that. Boom. Okay, yeah, I didn't mean to do that, but. Alright. With other characters, you can also. Yeah, you can still react with her burst, which is. It's pretty good. That's what, it's, that's what you want. The burst still works with the other characters. Okay, that is so sick, though. That is so sick. Burst. Breakpoint. Okay, that's sick. And then... Break your shield. And... Boom. Alright, not bad. That was pretty fun. Alright, now we can collect our little, little gems here. I actually think she's a pretty good character. She was pretty fun to use. I really liked her animations and stuff. But if I would pick her over a Xing Cho on my team, I don't know if I would exactly do that. She's pretty fun. She does deal a lot of damage if you utilize her entire kit correctly. With breakpoint, charge attacks, and with her elemental skill and elemental burst together. But she is you need to invest a lot in her, I feel like. 
And if you don't have her signature weapon, the bow, you might suffer, you know, you know, actual damage. So I don't really know. But her actual banner isn't the greatest of all time either. So maybe, maybe you guys need to wait a little bit more until like teams come out and stuff like that in order for you guys to make a full conclusion on whether or not you should summon on this character or not. But I'll be making videos. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel as well. That was my first impression of Yolan. So yeah, see you guys in the next one very soon.